gentlemen, come up to the stage to my right when your name is called. We're going to start with the best looking guy in the front row. Originally from New York City, he attended Bowling Green State University and played with the Syracuse Nationals and the Philadelphia 76ers in the NBA. He has served as an assistant coach, general manager, and scout for several NBA teams. Most notably, he never uttered a first word during his entire coaching tenure with the Virginia Squires. Please welcome coach, Al Bianchi! From UK University, he played for the Squires, the Spirit of St. Louis, and the Kansas City Kings. He still listens to Led Zeppelin with his car windows down while he's driving. Please welcome Mike Barr! From Great University, the team enforcer who played for the Spires after several years in the NBA. A 1971 All Star team representative from the Spires. He still has a beanbag chair. Shag carpet and a watermelon at home. Here he is, Neil Johnson! From the University of Virginia, the ACC Basketball Player of the Year in 1972. He still has a poster of Barrett Farrah Fawcett in his bedroom. Please welcome Barry Parkin. Uh, originally from Philadelphia, he was Will Chamberlain's high school adversary in basketball before attending the University of Portland. He followed up his NBA and ABA careers by being the head coach of the Detroit Pistons. He still can't decide if he likes the stylistics or the main ingredient better. But we all know, please welcome Ray Chief Scott. From the University of Washington, he passed up the chance to play for his hometown Seattle Supersonics to join the Virginia Squires. He followed up his playing career with head coaching stints with the Indiana Pacers and Detroit Pistons and is still a horrible dancer, George Hawkeye Irvine. Irvin. Irvine. 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 And you're not a doctor. From the South, the all-time assistant seals leader with the Squires, who also gave George Irvin the nickname Ice Man. Perhaps the most beloved squire of all time. Here he is, Raymond Fatty Taylor! From Brigham Young's University, the all time squires leader in games play, points, and rebounds. A 1974 squires representative to the ABA All Star team. He won championship with the Oakland Oaks and the New York Mets. His favorite movie is still Saturday Night Fever. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Jumbo Jim Eakins. From Old Dominion University, the quarterback of Portland Trailblazers to a championship in 1977 and knows how to get support sports through both the downtown and the midtown tunnels. Please welcome the color commentator of the Old Dominion Monarchs basketball team, Dave Twarzik. A lot of people think some guy named Michael was arguably the greatest player at the University of North Carolina. Nobody was more important to their basketball program than this 6 foot 5 guard from New York City. He was the first black scholarship athlete at the University of North Carolina, a gold medalist in the 1968 Olympics. He played in multiple all-star games in the NBA and the ABA and won a championship with the 1976 Boston Celtics. He never met a shot 
that he didn't like. Please welcome Charles Scott. From Eastern Michigan, where he majored in sociology and minored in love. A Hall of Famer and one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. His trademark move was the finger bowl. He serves as an NBA ambassador to the world and continues his legacy by helping underprivileged children in San Antonio through the George Gurman Youth Center. Please welcome George the Iceman Gurman. And finally, from the University of Massachusetts, he won three ABA and NBA championships, as well as three scoring titles. He is the only player in basketball history to have been voted most valuable player in both the ABA and the NBA. He's in the NBA Hall of Fame and was selected as one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. Last year, he released his autobiography and also had a documentary done on it entitled The Doctor. He occasionally breaks out the bell bottoms and wide collared shirts when he's going out of the town, but not tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big Hampton Roads welcome and return. Mr. Corbin.